that was the small intestine. Now we're going to go on to the large intestine, which starts on this foot and finishes on the other foot. So that's the first time where we can uncover both feet because we're going to do a continuous move. Start at the ileocecal valve, thumb walk up to the waistline. Turn, so now I'm going to go straight across the foot. All five zones. And then I'm going to transfer to the other foot. Pick it up at the same point on the other foot. And walk across just to where zone four and five meet. Change thumbs again. Thumb walk down just into the pelvic area. Turn the direction of my thumb again and walk back up to a point just above the bladder point that we did earlier and rotate on that point. So that circuit is all concerned with the large intestine. You do that four or five times. If you go back to the initial, to the start point, which is the ileocecal valve. Start from the ileocecal valve. Thumb walk up the ascending colon reflex. Turn. Walk across the transverse colon on this side. Move to the other foot. Walk across the transverse colon on this side. Down the descending colon reflex. Turn the last part, the sigmoid colon and then rot rotate on the reflex for the rectum. So that little circuit you complete four or five times. And as I move from one foot to the other you'll see that I've always got contact so I've always got one hand or one thumb or one finger touching one part of my client's feet. It doesn't matter which one, but I keep contact with them all the way through.